over in here. Woo wee. What have you got on that rattle trap? Oh man, he's, he's only barely hooked. <laughs> Whoa. Welcome to Herb Parsons, everybody. Got my dad with me here today. We're fixing to try to catch some of these hybrids that they've been stocking in here. Let's get with it. There he was, got him. I got him, for sure. He's not, he's not as big as I'd anticipated. Oh, it's a large male. <laughs> Calm down, buddy. Wow, he is hot. That fish feels like 900 degrees. What'd you say the slot limit was? 14 to 18. He is like a quarter inch shy of 14. Well, I saw this fish surface out here chasing some shad and I thought it was those hybrids. It was not. Man, I thought we found them. I just knew that's what we had. I was wrong. Got him right there. Look at that. Got him. Oh, that's a large now. That bass is in the slot. One good one. Water's so much more shallow than other lakes. The water's hotter. There he was, got him. Whoa. This guy is a nut job. That fish was not coming off and he was almost the same size as my bait. Did you really? Oh, that's a big fish. Yeah, it's a big something. You got a big fish, and I don't have my net in here. Wow, Dad, that's about a four-pounder or better. Here, let me thumb him for you. And rake him over in here. Woo-wee. What have you got on that rattle trap? Oh, man, he's, he's only barely hooked. Whoa. Got him. First throw. First throw on the rattle trap. Here, hold wow. that big dude up. Oh, Andy Pretty. Wow. <laughs> With your Mary Poppins hat on. Yeah. That's a Donkey Kong. Yeah, that's the biggest bass I caught in years. Hey, this thing, that fish was light up this creek. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, let me stop this trolling motor. I did too. I got a fish, Dad. Look at that. Wow. I thought he was a lot bigger than that. Well, nope, I landed that one. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. We were not able to catch one single hybrid at her parsons today that was our target species the reason why i was going there was specifically to catch hybrids and so what i let me just give you a little background what i did is i got on the twra website and they have a what's called their warm water stocking schedule 
where basically they put out a report that says this is the fish that we created that we stocked in the various lakes around the state you, anybody can look this up if you go to the fishing tab on the twa website and you click on warm water stocking they have like trout stockings and all that stuff too the warm water stockings that schedule is going to tell you where they put catfish, where they put crappie, where they put walleye, where they put largemouth bass, where they put hybrid striped bass, all of these things. And so you can go and look up your lake if it appears on the list. There's a lot of lakes that aren't on the list, which I'm assuming means they're not stocking anything in there. Um, they don't have historical data. I found one website that had the 2017 schedule. I downloaded to my phone the 2021 schedule, and now they've got the 2022 schedule posted. Uh, so far this year, the only thing that they've stocked in Herb Parsons is a Florida strain of largemouth bass. And they've stocked two bunches of them, several, several thousand. Um, last year, they stocked 2,080 hybrid striped bass. The 2017 report that I have shows that they stocked hybrid striped bass in there also. So my thought was they have to be like 14 or 15 inches to keep them. I figured if the ones from last year aren't big enough, the ones from 2017 would be. And we literally couldn't catch a single one. And I don't know, I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means that I suck at catching them or if they just weren't biting. Or I don't know. If you guys have caught one there, let me know. I asked uh, the bait shop, which right there at the boat ramp. They knew nothing about it. They don't know anything about what they stock in there. And I was like, well, that's convenient. So anyways, we did get on a couple of largemouth dad did catch that one really big one so that was awesome um had we been largemouth fishing from the beginning we probably would have caught a lot more fish but we were trying to focus on hybrids and it was just an epic failure but that's how fishing goes sometimes so anyways i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something about the lake there are some good largemouth in there if you want to go check out the lake but that's going to wrap it up for today you guys have a good one